Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads uh, the velocity of uh, the water jet discharging from uh, the olifice can be obtained from V equal to root of uh, 2GH where H is uh, equal to 2 meters and is the depth of the olifice from the free water surface. Determine the time for the particle of water leaving the olifice to reach point B and the horizontal distance X where it hits the surface. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Me Mechanics uh, Dynamics uh, 14th edition by RC Bella. Quick reminder, we have velocity which is the time derivative of position, we have acceleration which is the time derivative of velocity and then we have uh, uh, derived equation from the two which is A D S B D B. From these three basic kinematic equations, we are able to derive a number of different equations depending on the boundary condition. But we do have one common type of equation when acceleration is constant at t equal to zero, then we have s naught and v naught. The equations are s naught, s is equal to s naught, v naught t plus half a c t squared. Then we have V is equal to V naught plus ACT. Then we have V squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2AC S minus S naught. Okay, so with these equations, let's just write down what we have here. So here we only have the initial value here at a is va which is in the horizontal direction which we are just going to call as our vax and uh, uh, is equal to uh, root of 2 root of 2 times 9.81 times 2 right uh-huh and this one is just going to be equal to um a two we factor out it just becomes a four by uh, nine point eight one okay right so let's work out we would start with uh, the time let's find the time uh, from uh, A to C, so I'm going to use this equation. Let's find the time. So we'll start with uh, I think vertical motion. Let's start with vertical motion. We are able to find the time directly because uh, the initial value for vertical direction for velocity is equal to zero. So vertical motion. Um, we are using s is equal to s naught plus v naught t plus half a c t square. Our s in our case here is equal to um, zero. Our s naught is equal to one point five. V naught is equal to v a y, which is equal to zero. And our AC is equal to minus 1.81. And you here G, we use G, so our AC is equal to minus G, which is equal to minus 9.81. Right. Uh, with this information, we can simply say, we can simply go ahead and plug in all values. We have 0 equal to um s naught is um 1.5 then we have a minus half 9.81 by t squared this becomes a 4.905 t squared equal to 1.5 therefore t is just going to be equal to plus or minus no minus we don't have minus time therefore we just concentrate on the positive value so 1.5 divided by 4.905 square root of that 
our time is 0 0.455 uh three zero seconds okay let me check it again so we have 1.5 divided by 4.905 12 of that 0 0.5530 this is the time it takes so we'll say time of light um time of light from A to B the time for the water particle is equal to 0 0.553 seconds 3553 seconds okay um once you found the time then we can go ahead to find x so here we are going to use let me go this side. I can leave this space here. Let me go this side. Let's create a boundary here. Because there isn't much, right? Of course, you can go ahead and uh, compute. You have the final velocity there, but this is not part and parcel of the problem. You can go ahead and compute this velocity here, okay? Which we are not going to do. You can check the velocity at which the particle hits the ground. All right. Uh, this is not our baby. You can check it, right? Let's call this VBX equal to VAX. We call this one VBY. And then we call this one VB. And then we call this angle here theta B. We can find all those things. So let's go to the vertical motion. Sorry, I said this side. I mean, a horizontal motion. Right? Horizontal motion, we are using the same equation. S is equal to S naught plus V naught T plus half AC T squared. Our S in our case is X, right? And our S node is equal to zero. Our V node is equal to VAX, which is equal to VA, right? And our AC is equal to, uh, which is equal to VF, um, which is equal to VA, and is equal to uh, square root of four times nine point eight one, right? Mm -hmm. then ac is equal to zero therefore this becomes equal to we we'll have x equal to uh, va which is just two root of 9.81 right times t which we found already uh, let me just mention of our t here is equal to uh, 0 0.5530 so here is 0 0.5530 our team um yeah therefore our x is just going to be equal to uh that's two root of 9.81 times 0.5530 and this gives us a 3.46 meters okay that's 4 by 9.81 square root of that by 0 0.5530 3.46 all right so of course our horizontal distance our horizontal distance uh x we said x is equal to a 3.46 meters i guess we are done so we found the time of light from a to b of the water particle we've also found the horizontal distancing uh, x okay
so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast